What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Death Road to Canada. We have five days left until Canada and we're doing great. We have full health, a lot of food, a lot of weapons. Too many weapons, really. Uh, we got Jody here and TLB and everyone else and the horror continues. Yikes! Yeah, I'm excited. I'm pretty pumped for this. Cool it Diplomacy. The group is blocked by another survivor group that sets up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distrusting and heavily armed. The person they send to talk to is extremely annoying. We should... Who should try to deal with them? Uh, who has the best composure? Not including TLB. Uh... That's a tough one. Let's go with... Giles. We could just take a detour, but we're running low on gas, so... Giles talks to the annoying representative. He tries to control his temper, but the guy is just too annoying. He runs and tells the guards to not open the door. The group has to find a way around. Glenn's Giles' composure is revealed as bad. We have to take a detour anyway, but at least we learned something. The group decides to take a detour. We didn't really decide to do it. But okay, this is usually a bad idea. Hey, it was our only option. It takes some extra time and gas, but not too much. Minus 43. Not too much? That is way too much. That is much too much. We're down to 20 gasoline here. Four gasoline here. Trading on the death road. You have 50 food left. We're going to visit a trader camp. Uh, hopefully we get a little bit of free stuff from this cabin here. I don't think we're going to get... Okay, we got one food. I'm going to talk to her. Hey, get out of our house. Hey. Whatever. We took your food already. Why does your house have three beds? Who's living here? You sure it's not just... Okay, whatever. This guy's hair green? Okay. Gas for sale. The group finds a man near a rusted truck. The truck is full of gas, tanks, and oily rags. Both the man and the truck reek of gasoline. He offers to sell you 10 units of gas in exchange for every food item he gets. No thanks. Normally that would be worth it, but because we have a gas guzzler, our gas isn't worth as much. I'd rather lose our van and find a new car. Shotgun peddler. Big dog for 40 food. Auto shoddy for 30 food. Slug shotgun for 25 food. Shotguns for sale, shotguns for sale. You have 50 food left, leave him. Um, do we keep our food and hope for better stuff eventually? Easy medical college. Uh, six food for training, 15 for group training. Leave for now. Honestly? Maybe we just leave? We're not gonna leave our van behind. We're gonna use the last of our gas to get wherever we're going, but... Do we want to buy the big dog? It's 40 food. That would leave us with one day's worth of food, and it's not guaranteed to be very good either. Uh, Leave him, get back in the van. We got one food out of this. That's fine. I think we're, we're pretty set on weapons. We got like the AK-47, a handful of different types of pistols, three different kinds. We got, uh, there is it, there, there it is. Uh, the Dolt 45, the Snub Nose, and uh, some regular pistols as well. So I think we're good. We're about to run out of gas here. But not before the suburb siege. From a distance, the group sees some skeletons and loot in the middle of a debris-blocked street. They walk over to get a closer look. This gets the attention of a horde of zombies that rush out from all sides. Siege alert, there's no escape. Overwhelming late morning, one hour. Not as bad as the last siege we did, which was overwhelming and, like, late night. I'm gonna take a quick drink of coffee to prepare myself for this. Alright, try to survive. Is anybody allowed to rest? No. So, obviously we don't want to bring the chainsaw. We don't have any gas to begin with. Um, this is probably as good of a setup as any. We don't need this. Let's rock. Oh, come on. I was trying to pick that zombie up and she shot him. And that, uh... You know, the skeleton that I was going to pick up and throw is gone too. TLB is kind of useless here. I'm going to use him kind of just to guide the group. To, so they know where to go to survive and kill everyone. Do we want to pick up an extra hatchet? It doesn't really hurt. We might be able to give it to, like, Giles later if he decides to be an idiot like he always does. Um, I gotta, like... 
Okay, that was bad. Are they still on shooting? They are on shooting. They might be able to help us survive here. Um, should I use TLB to kind of block everybody else from getting hit? I, I don't know if that actually made sense, but I think it did. Luckily, half the crowd is kind of trying to get at us from that corner. So that was actually pretty easy. I don't care about looting. Wait. Maybe. We'll see. Give me a sec. No, stay here. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, we can get out of the corner for sure. I'm going to jump into this house real quick. It's just debris. Let's leave. We can't deal with the crowd that's up there, but I think that was worth a look. Yes, let's hit the road. We didn't get anything. We got a little bit of pistol ammo, but we used way more than we picked up, so... Ignore that. Out of gas! The car is completely run out of gas and close to a stop. Car abandoned. Okay. Huh. Good forever. The group spots a bakery van that is broken down on the side of the road. The van is irreparable. The bread is moldy and inedible, but there are some sugary cakes that are still good. Morale's going up, up, up. We got three people at uh, full morale. One person uh, just below it. We got four more food out of that. That's a good walking on the road thing. This is a bad one. After a hard day of looking for a car, the group finds a camping spot. During the night, they are attacked by ants and must leave without sleep. Everybody's hurt and everybody's tired, but we did a decent meal. Ah, uh, TLB rolls up his sleeves and starts tending their wounds. We lost six medical supplies, but we treated some wounds. Uh, everybody but TLB is now back at full health. Cat attack! Jody is walking along the road when she is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coat the United States after the zombo -calypse. Zombocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. Jody is hurt. Morale decreases. Come on, Jody. You're gonna let that get to you? Car preservation tunnel. The group walks to the entrance of a dark tunnel filled with cars. There has to be some gas and a working car in there. Also, lots of zombies that you can't escape from easily. It's a very thick and hunting swarm at nightfall. But we're gonna search the tunnel because that's the only thing we can do. This is really bad. Luckily, we're mostly at full health. Uh, Jody is at like normal full health, but she's the resilient type, so she can go one above full health. TLB is just below actual full health, and uh, I think we're gonna make him rest. He can pick up the cars. Why would I? Whoa, that was almost bad. Why would I make him rest in a situation where he is going to shine like this? I think we're good with what we've got here. When did we lose our AK-47? Valkyrie, what did you do? Did it break? Can guns break? I'm a little mad at Valkyrie right now. Huh. Maybe she ran out of ammo and swung it until it broke? It's gotta be something like that. We're gonna give her a gun. Uh, yeah, that, that works. Let's go. Uh, there's no, there's very few cars in this tunnel. We want to get all the gas. There's not as many zombies as it, as, it, as it made it sound like there was going to be. Why can't I pick up this car? Can TLB not actually pick up cars? Did someone lie to me? Did you lie to me, viewer? If you lied to me, intentionally, to make me try to pick up cars and die, I'm a little peed. Uh, if you lied to me by accident, or if this was recently updated such that he can no longer pick up cars, and at the time that you said that, it was the case that he could pick up cars. I'm a little peeved, but not at you, and I apologize for overreacting. Um, this was easy. Why did they make it sound like this was going to be super tough? Very thick hunting? Uh, more like mild irritated. Am I right? I'm right. Let's get in. We got all the gas that's available in this tunnel, and we're gonna get out of here. This is potentially another gas guzzling car. It might be a a, a muscle car. 110 gas. Uh, I don't think we actually got any ammo. And we're healed up. Everybody's fully healed except Jody, but we're out of medical supplies now. But we're getting so close. Glimmer of hope on the death road. The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they are getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Valkyrie plus one to max health is pretty nice. Morale and random skill gain doesn't help most of us, but it does help Jody a little bit, and then we all get a random skill, and that's nice. But we could just train everybody's fitness. 
And that wouldn't hurt. Why? Oh, we're tired. Right. I wish we could see what the actual value was, because Valkyrie's fitness might not be able to actually increase. Uh, uh, mechanical for everybody might be a good idea. Then I think I still want to do more Allen random skill gain. It's a little bit of a risk because we do have uh, Giles at full wits, Valkyrie at a full strength and fitness, I believe, and TLB at full strength and attitude. So if those are the randomly selected traits to increase, we don't get a trait there. But I want Jody's morale to be a little higher. I don't know what we get out of it, but I just want to see everybody be fully happy. So I'm going to do more Allen random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Jody's morale increases, and then everybody did get a stat improvement. Jody's shooting increased, which is good, because we are using guns pretty frequently at this point. Giles' fitness, Valkyrie's mechanical, and TLB's fitness. So overall, very positive result here. I think I made the exact right decision. Nice. Okay. We should try to find efficient cars to conserve our gas. Yeah, I agree. No more creepy pastas. The group is sitting around a campfire resting before a brutal day. Tomorrow, the group eats a decent meal. We're going to go to sleep. And uh, now that we're all rested, I want to take a look at our stats again. Jody's shooting is all the way up. That's awesome. She was tired, which brought it down a little. But the increase plus uh, the rest brought it to all the way. Uh, perfect. I, that's really good. Valkyrie does have uh, perfect strength and fitness, so I'm glad we didn't do that. And we still don't know much about TLB in regards to his uh, fitness there. By which I mean we don't know his fitness. I phrased that strangely. That's fine. We're doing fine on food. I actually think... One second. Ninja Strike 3, Third Strike. That's like a joke movie title. The group finds a trail of zombies all cleanly cut in half. Following the trail leads to someone dressed in a ninja costume, standing on a dumpster with a dramatic crossing arms pose or impractical length headband waves in the wind. Do we want to bribe her to join for 10 food, approach her, or leave her be? Uh, I feel like bribing her to join for 10 food is probably our best option. I think it also would involve approaching her, but I think we're going to do this. So who do we want to get rid of? I think Giles is our least useful member. He is paranoid, which helps out with bandits, but we are four days until Canada. It's gonna that's gonna go down to three pretty soon, I think. So maybe he's outlived his usefulness. We're obviously not giving up Valkyrie or TLB. They are both rare characters. We don't want to give up rare characters during rare characters mode, or ever, really, unless it's like horse. I hate horse. I blame Horse for losing that one run a while back. I don't know if we would have actually won it and gotten all the way to Canada, but he certainly messed it up quite a bit. And it's just because I didn't know his AI was supposed to mess with you. So it is my fault. Uh, Jody runs in a vaguely silly manner. Maybe we give her up? Four days until Canada. Four days until Canada. That's 32 food. We've got... 39, we give her 10 of it, we left 29, and then we need to find five, three more, sorry, uh, to be all the way, and we can definitely do that. So I think we're gonna bribe her to join our group for sure, and uh, give up. Giles. He's our mechanic, but I think we're gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be okay, guys. Let's do it. Bribe her to join for 10 food. Ninja takes the food and then slams a smoke bomb into the ground. She's gone. No, wait, she's in the car. Boot someone from the team to make room? Giles. Giles gets booted out of the group to make room for Ninja. Ninja joins the team. Onward to Canada. Awesome. Three rare characters in the car is a great way to have the game go. And with Civilization gone, I mostly dismissed something that I didn't see there. Magazines, popular after the apocalypse. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Ninja finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. Pick a magazine. American Guns, Turkey, Turnkey, and Good to Go. Not Turkey. And uh, Cat Video Pictures or Giant Farts Monthly. Um... 
We know nothing about Ninja. I'm guessing her fitness is actually pretty dang high. So, I don't know why I... I was thinking Cool Runnings was in here. It's not. So let's go with... Because we just gave up our mechanic, turnkey, and good to go. This was the car magazine before society exploded. The insightful articles have a calming effect on Ninja, so she improved her composure and mechanical. Good enough for me. I'd like to know a little bit more about Ninja. Maybe we'll play as her and kind of learn her uh, stats that way. Ninja Vanish. The ninja strikes a dramatic cross-arms pose. Her headband flutters in the wind. Looks like my work is done. She slams a smoke bomb into the ground and then disappears, leaving nothing behind but a small satchel. The satchel is full of smoke bombs. And my heart is full of grief. Okay. Well, <laughs> driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We're going to go to the big office complex. The group sees a large office building. The amount of zombies in it hints the people were still going to work like normal, even after the outbreak. Moderate irritated late morning, explore office. What is... Oh, smoke bombs are hovering over the trash. Um... We don't need this wood. There we go. And, uh... Just so we don't have to deal with it later, I'm gonna get rid of this broom. Okay. So... Ninja's gone. We got seven smoke bombs. Who cares? Why do we need those? We lost 10 food, our only good mechanic. We trained her in mechanical and composure, and she's gone. Without a hint that that was even gonna be a thing, she's just gone. Ugh. Terrible. Let's go. I gotta get through here and pick up something to make TLB more useful here. Okay, that disc is broken. Let's find another one. Here we go, okay. We, we're down to three people. We really want to recruit someone before our... I'm an idiot. There we go. Uh, before our next... Like, before we get too far, uh, we don't want to get to the final Canada sieges and only have... Whoa, hey. Jody, Jody. Stop it. What are you doing? Did you just use all the smoke bombs? I don't want to control you. She used all five smoke bombs. Okay. Uh, my, my new opinion, my modified opinion on the AI, it's g darn terrible. I'm a little mad about... Uh, we, we basically just traded ten food and our mechanic for two smoke bombs because Jody just wasted all of ours. And five, five of the seven that we got. That was, that was awful. That was a bad trade, guys. Okay, now I know that we leave Ninja behind. From now on, I, I am a little curious about what would happen. He'll be finds a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. The magazine's title is Modern Hunter. He stuffs it into his pack, okay. I wonder what would happen if we encountered ninja and then we everybody died during an encounter leaving only ninja also we didn't even get to do any like combat or anything with ninja what was the point of that what was the point of that ah oh, so upset other than that this run is still looking pretty good uh, i guess now we have 29 food in the car plus three here that gives us 32 food. We've got four days until Canada. Um, meaning we need 24 food now, so we actually have a little bit of a surplus between now and the end of the game. Which is nice. It's nice to know. It's nice to be aware of. Uh, so, like, not trading that food the next time we find a trader camp means we're wasting it. I don't think we get any bonus points or anything like that for uh, getting there with extra resources. I don't want you to be shooting. Why are you shooting? Smashing is selected. And I do want to uh, 
No, not you. Not you, Jody. I don't trust you anymore. That's good enough. I'm controlling Valkyrie now? What's happening? Valkyrie. Okay. Um, there we go. I didn't want to, I didn't mean to be, but I, I'm going to. Uh, no, I'm not, because TLB has the worst AI in the game. Except horse, but that, that's intentional. Okay. We're good. We're fine. This desk is awesome. I'm gonna keep carrying it. Positive outlook. That's a bathroom. We're four days until Canada. It says so in the top corner. Before that, I was just kind of going off of memory, but yes, we are four days from Canada. I was kind of hoping it would decrease to three, but it didn't. It's still four. As you can see, up in this top corner. Hey, Valkyrie, what are you doing? All right. Now, yeah, this is, this is going well. I mean, it sucks that we lost Giles and got essentially nothing out of it. It sucks that we wasted that magazine. But overall, still doing fine for like the run as a whole. Has anybody died during this run? I think we might have lost like one character to an actual in uh, looting death. Like one person while we were out doing actual combat and stuff died. Other than that, we've played a, a pretty perfect game. If if uh, if you'll if you'll uh, accept that term to describe it. I don't know why you wouldn't. I think it, we've, we've done a great job. Uh, it's this could still be the game that gets us to Canada. I'm not I'm not uh, disparaged here. I don't know why Valkyrie keeps shooting. That's not what she's supposed to be doing. We're gonna leave. We got 11 more food up to 40. Not quite enough to buy a minigun. The group now has the magazine Modern Hunter. Who should get to read it? Not Jody this time. It's gonna be shooting, and her shooting is perfect. Uh, TLB can't shoot. Valkyrie. There's no other. There's no other uh, decision that would make any sense whatsoever. So Valkyrie gets to read Modern Hunter. She absorbs the contents. Sadly, she ruins the magazine for others due to her grimy fingers. Shooting is increased, and then it's revealed as a uh, frowny. So it's kind of crappy. Are we tired? No. All right. We have enough food. Uh, uh, we have enough food. Obviously, we have enough gas to get all the way to Canada. I believe. Non-useless junk shop. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. The group eats a decent meal. We're going to go to sleep. We don't want to be tired. We just want to get through this. We're not going to need to be... I, we're not going to need to be mechanics, I say, as the car starts smoking. The group gets a peaceful moment to rest in a safe house. Safe house or safe, ha safe house? No zombies in sight. With some spare time, they decide to cool it. Teach medical skills, teach mechanic skills. I don't think Jody's a good mechanic. She might be, I guess. Uh, TLB teach medical. He is our best medic. So if we could improve everything else slightly. Does that, it doesn't increase his medical ability. It increases everybody else's medical ability if his is high enough to do so. I want to learn anybody's mechanical. So we're gonna have Jody teach mechanic skills. We don't know anybody's mechanical right now. And now we know Jody's is neutral. Okay, Jody teaches everyone what she knows about car repair and other ways to accidentally mess up machinery. Everybody's mechanical increased, which means that was good. Uh, hers is revealed as neutral, which is fine, and her morale increases. Okay, everybody is now super happy. Uh, if only Giles was here to enjoy this situation. R.I.P. Giles, I apologize for your sacrifice, your meaningless sacrifice. The group explores a fairly quiet city. This is a good chance to resupply and relative safely. Safe, deep, moderate and sluggish late morning. Uh, we could recruit another person at this apartment with help banner, but it wouldn't be a rare character, so is it worth it? Instead, we could go to the hardware store and get, I don't know what, let's go to the apartment with help banner. We'll, instead of recruiting them, we can just, uh, get a reward for the, from them 
and that's probably better. We don't need that. Uh, we have two of these, which is odd. Is there anything else we can consolidate in here? I don't see any duplicates. Let's... Let's go. It's early enough in the day that we're not really in any danger of, like, nighttime happening. We gotta keep our group together. I don't know where Jody went. There she is. Okay. We'll loot everything first, and then we'll find the person that, uh, is in the apartment that we're looking for. Or we'll just go to it when we find it. It wasn't over here right now. That's all just debris block houses, so no reason to go that way. Um, this is the fastest way up to the third block here. Is there a fourth block? I want to check before... Oh, before going in there, I guess... That was weird. I was looking up here and uh, happened to accidentally wander. Where are you... Where are you guys going? Kill this zombie. That was weird. That was some weird pathfinding there. Okay, we're going to do all of this first. Then we'll go rescue the person. Hopefully they don't die in the process. I don't think they can get damaged until we find them. Then they can start taking damage. I don't think they like exist in the world until we enter the room that they're in. I could be wrong about that. I hope I'm not. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh, no. Did I just quote Linkin Park? I don't know. I quoted someone. I think it was Linkin Park. Not intentionally until like halfway through the sentence when I realized what I was doing. This is a little bit of a long episode. We're gonna cut it after this, after this rescue operation here. Um, and then we'll pick up again tomorrow with hopefully our very first victory into the, the land of Canada. That, it, it's looking likely, but it's, it's looked just as likely in the past and not panned out very well. So it, it's hopeful, wishful thinking, but it is still, like, it, it's reasonable right now to assume we're gonna get there. I think. I'm excited for it. I was kind of thinking like we'd get here by episode, I don't know, 25? This is now episode uh, 78, I wanna say. I don't know for sure. I think it's 78, and we are not quite there. At the very earliest, we will make it to Canada in episode 79. If you told me that uh, two, two months ago, I would have said, uh, wow, I'm going to be real terrible at this game. Maybe I should pick a different one. And then I would have played it anyway because it's super fun. So it doesn't, it's not the destination, it's uh, how you get there. That was not the best throw on a bed that I've ever done. Wow, okay. Off to the apartment with help banner. You gotta carry this coffee table outside to get it out of the way. Is I'm gonna check all the way to the right. Okay, no, there's nothing. I thought maybe there was another house over there, but it's actually just the edge of the map. Help me, okay. That's what, that's what I'm doing. Where are you jets? Oh, you know what? You probably made that sign way before. Okay. Wow, thanks for breaking the bed, Valkyrie. Thanks for nothing with your stupid hammer. Hey, look, it's a weird looking zombie. Everyone needs help sometimes. Oh, it's not a zombie, it's Kashia. I'm gonna just call her Kesha. Uh, Tick tock on the clock. She says that she really wants to get out of this place. We're gonna let Kesha follow us. Cause the party don't stop. Okay. We're gonna explore the rest of this apartment. It's probably got the most loot out of any building in this town here, if I had to guess. Usually they put m most of the loot, or most of the good loot, in the area that you're supposed to be focusing on. And that's this house, so, apartment, whatever you wanna call it. I like nail boards. TLB can't use them, but it doesn't really matter. Kesha isn't in our team menu. If she was, I would steal everything she has and then leave her to the wolves when we're out of this town. 
That would be awesome. But we don't get like bandit options around here. I think if uh, if you have a bandit in your party, it'd be cool to have actual bandit options. We're doing real good on loot. I think we're gonna have enough to really buy some good stuff at the next trader outpost. This is taking longer than I thought it would. We're gonna go back to the car now. Yeah, it's early afternoon. It's uh, 30 minutes into the video. I forgot how tall this place was. All right. We are not done yet. Hey, uh, Valkyrie, what are, you, what are you doing? Hey, uh, Valkyrie, get in. Okay, we're good. She went all the way around the car and then got in the driver's side. She could have done it from the other, from what is happening. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, we did it. Get out of here. Hooray. Uh, 12 food up to 46. Not quite at the 50, uh, you know, mark there, the milestone. Two medical supplies is going to come in handy. Kesha catches up with the group at a safe spot. She offers a reward and thanks for saving her. We can recruit her, get group strength training. That sounds useless. Or group mechanic training. I think her car's going to break down. So we're going to do group mechanic training from... The group gets all sorts of secret mechanic tips from Kesha. The training ends and Kesha departs. T.O.P.'s mechanical increases. So does everybody else's. We only know Jody's though and it's pretty positive. And I think it's got to be higher than T.O.P.'s and Valkyrie's because they did both learn from her. Okay. Anyway, that's all for now, but thank you for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with all your friends. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode.